This is an introduction for students to using Google Drive. I'm going to show you the different types of files you can create and how to organize your files and also share files to your teacher. This is what Google Drive looks like. If you're not sure how to get to Google Drive, once you're signed into your Google account, you should see Drive listed as a choice up in the black bar. As you build and create files, they will appear here in the My Drive area. And these columns on the right side tell you who created what files and also the last time that those files were modified. This left side of Google Drive is how you navigate around and create files. The Create button is where you'll create files or folders. The My Drive choice, when selected, it shows that it's red. This will show any files or folders that you've created or organized. And the Shared With Me area, when you click on that, that'll show any files that have been shared to you from others. These are the main areas, My Drive and Shared With Me, that you'll use probably the most within Google Drive. When you want to create a file, you click Create. When you click Create, you'll see a bunch of choices for all the different things you can create within Google Drive. You can make a document, a slide presentation, spreadsheet, a form for collecting data, a drawing, or a folder to organize your files. In this example, I've created a document. Notice that this looks just like a Word document where I can type my paper or whatever I need to type here in the body area. Notice that there is a toolbar across the top. This toolbar has very similar features to other programs where you can bold your text, italicize, change the font, change the size, center, uh, all different things that you would need for word processing. The first thing you should do whenever you start a new file is to immediately name the file by clicking on the file name and changing it from untitled document to something that makes sense for that assignment. When you're turning files in for a class, please follow this naming example. Your file name should have three parts. The first part should be your class or your hour. The second part is your last name. And the third part is whatever assignment is that you're working on. So here's an example for a sixth grade class. So the sixth grade student is going to put a six followed by a V because that teacher's name starts with a V. The student's last name is Smith in this example and this Smith student is working on Civil War Project. Notice there are spaces between each of these parts. That just helps when you're searching files to find them quickly. If you're at the middle school or the high school where you're working in class hours and you're turning in a third hour assignment, this would be an example for that. So three would be the class hour, the student's last name is Jones, and Jones is working on a River Valley essay. This helps when sharing files to teachers so the teacher knows whose file it is, or if you're sharing files to other classmates, they'll know what, what that project is that you're working on. One of the benefits to using Google Drive is as you work in your files, you'll notice there is no save button. At the top of the file, as you work, you'll see saving appear every so often as long as you have an internet connection. This is great that your files automatically save as you work. One of the great things about using Google Drive is the ability to share your files to others. When you're working in a file, there's the blue share button that's in the top right corner. When you click on share, this brings up the sharing settings for that file. So let's say in this example, you want to share this file to your teacher. You click share, and in the add people box, you start typing your teacher's last name. As you type, you'll see choices come up. Make sure you click on the correct choice for your teacher. When you click on that choice, that choice will be added into the Add People box, and you should see their full email address put in there. The next choice you have to make is what rights should the person you're sharing to have for that file. Do you want them to have the ability to edit or to view? If you're sharing to a teacher, make sure the teacher has edit rights. And the last thing you should take a look at is just under the Add People box, there's this checkbox that says Notify People via Email. If you're sharing to a teacher, please uncheck this. This makes it so the teacher doesn't get so many email messages from all their students. When you're all done with that, click Share and Save, and you'll notice that the person you share to has now been added to the Who Has Access for this particular file. After all this is done, you can click Done. You control who has rights to your files using the Share button. A good idea in Google Drive is to make some folders to organize your files. You do this by clicking the Create button and choosing Folder. When you choose Folder, you'll be asked to name that folder. So in this example, I'll make a Science folder. So I'll type Science and click Create. 
this folder will now appear in my drive. So on the left side, there's a very tiny little arrow next to my drive. Once you have a folder created, you can click that little arrow and you can see any folders that you have in the my drive area. So here's that science folder I just made. And I'll show you next how to put files into folders so that you can keep your things organized. To organize your files, it's highly recommended that you use a little checkbox. So I'm in my drive. I'm going to checkbox a file I've already made. And once you hit the checkbox, some other buttons will appear at the top, one of which is a little folder button. So I would check the file, hit the folder button. This will open up the organize window, and this shows all my different folders. And now I can click on whichever folder I want that file to go into. So I have clicked on this folder. So this is saying that this is going to organize this file into my language arts folder. And I would click move down at the bottom and that file would now be organized into that folder. I hope this has been a good introduction to Google Drive and the different types of files you can create and how to organize your files, create files, and share files to your teacher. You can access your files anywhere with an internet connection. So you could access this from home or access this from school. Thanks for watching.